why I have got interest in all these t-shirts and t-shirts. Lord Lieutenant, Lord Mayor, ladies and gentlemen, well, I'm delighted to join you this evening to mark the launch of this very real partnership between Acid Survivors Trust International and Islamic Help. Uh, this evening is a really important evening, certainly for the Acid Survivors, and I hope for Islamic Help as well. As you've just been made aware, my first visit to Acid Survivors Foundation was back in 2000, uh, and in, on a visit to Bangladesh. And I was delighted to be able to return last year to see the progress that had been made. And I'm equally delighted to hear that, you know, when proving that you can make an impact, that Bangladesh had already brought down the rate from over 500 attacks a year to just over 100, to hear that it is now under 100. And I hope that that indicates to you that you really can make a difference but we can make a difference more quickly if we have the right tools in the place and the medical support to go with it. So I, I would always like to congratulate everyone at ASTI on their achievements and in so many countries, developing an effective response to this what is, is fundamentally an abuse. And I thank Islamic Help very much indeed for joining the effort to help survivors, to give them a much better chance of a life after that kind of attack. But there really has been real progress made over the past 10 years, thanks to those who are dedicated to eliminating this form of attack is, as a crime. And there is evidence that these some international bodies are now beginning to acknowledge the need to combat acid violence, and some governments, notably Bangladesh so far, have developed legislation to bring those perpetrators to justice, but others are following suit. And as we mentioned, Pakistan has recently approved an amendment to their 2011 criminal law bill and is on a journey towards adopting comprehensive legislation through a full Acid and Burns Crime Act. And the governments of Cambodia, Nepal, and Uganda are also developing legislative reforms. So they are examples of important developments in governments enacting their responsibilities to their citizens. The changes in the law I don't think would have come about without the local Acid Survivors Foundations in particular and ASTI putting their work together with a little bit of pressure uh, in main, and getting governments to see that there was a real need for change. And I would like to congratulate Islamic Help for joining with ASTI to develop the medical support to protect to bring the, the, this project to assist ACID survivors. I know that, as we've just been shown, that Islamic Help, through, although relatively new, has a pretty impressive track record and name earthquakes in Pakistan and orphans in Tanzania are only two examples that reflect their commitment and expertise in mobilizing resources. And I have every confidence that these qualities can be used to very good effect in helping survivors of acid attacks. We also understand, both of us, that acid violence is a difficult subject. It's difficult to highlight, prevent and treat. But in the last 13 years, ASTI and its partners have made real progress in their campaign to eliminate it as a form of violence. But despite this progress, the innocent victims of this crime do remain in need and attacks continue. And although awareness is increasing, still far too many people do not know or indeed sometimes actually believe that acid attacks happen and certainly don't understand the effects upon those who survive. And needing to break the silence uh, is really important to document and publicize what is happening and actively seek to save the lives of those who suffer the 
consequences of those attacks. And as you, I rather heard you uh, respond to those photographs, such young children being affected is somehow even more horrific. So your presence tonight is really important on two counts for Islamic help, for using their network of support here in this country, and to ASTI to support them in using their knowledge to much greater effect by coming together. We all believe that we can make a real impact quicker with more help. Tonight gives us a, a really good feel and a, a feeling of optimism that we can make a real impact on reducing the number of acid survivors. We know there's a long way to go before we can eliminate it, but we do believe we understand more about it, understand how to combat it. But for those who live as survivors as a result of those acid attacks, there we really do need as much help as possible to make their lives as good as possible in the future. So thank you very much indeed for joining us tonight and helping us to achieve those aims.